James Held at IFL TV in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got another of the Manchester based prospect, Lyndon Arthur. What's happening, Lyndon? All right, boy. Good. Tell us a little bit about yourself, firstly, mate. As you can see, I dress well. I'm matching from head to toe. <laughs> you know, now, um, yeah, um, I'm a light heavyweight boxer. I'm 3 0 at the moment, I'm fighting 24th of February. I'm looking to make it 4 0. I've got two knockouts. I want three. I want four, I want five, I want six. Now I'm gonna keep going. Um, yeah, I'm just learning my game at, at the moment. Fight after fight, round after round. So I'm just, you know, I'm doing me. I don't think your team like you very much. They put you in with Mitch Mitchell in your second fight. That's a tough. That's a tough match. Work. Uh, yeah, it was good. I, um, I watched a couple of his fights like, when I found out I was boxing him, and he looked like a tough journeyman. But you know, I went in there, I was relaxed, I did what I you know I could do, and mm -hmm. I performed well, and it got him out there. I mean, you guys from the Collier, Colliers and Moston Gym have built up a reputation of putting in the work. You've yeah, got a yeah, good getting, uh, young no, head yeah, crop of young yeah, fighters we're coming get, through yeah, as we're well. Getting back to how oh, I say this all the time, but how it used to be when you had your likes of Michael Gomez, you, you Tommy McDonald, you Scott Quigg, you Matty Oz, Reese Roberts, and, and Robbie Reed, and so on and so on. So um, that's where we're trying to be again with champion after champion in the gym and just keep 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 that rotor belt going. There you go. We've seen Zelfa Barrett. Yeah. Come through the Black Flash promotion shows. He's then worked his way. He's worked his way on to getting on the TV card, signing yeah. with Frank Warren. Yeah. Is that the sort of route that, that's the, that you're yeah, aspiring yeah, to? That, yeah, that's where I'm going. That's I mean, like I say like, again, I say this all the time. Zelf is where I want to be. Mm. Um, he's I say he's about a year ahead of me right now. Mm. So, you know, Zelf has got his foot in the door, and I, I believe that I'm network. Obviously, Mark Efron signed. And I believe that I'm somewhere in the, in, the, in, the, you know, in the pipeline. Is that exciting for you, the fact that there's so much talent, so many big fights, so many big nights here in your home city yeah, that you can show people what you're yeah, about? It's exciting. I can't wait to be in a big fight where it's 50-50 and people are telling me I'm going to get knocked out and people are telling me I'm going to knock the person out or he's going to beat me or the guy's telling me or he's in my face. You know, the, the, the stuff like Tony, Tony Bellew and David A, that, that shit excites you. So, no, I can't wait to get in there and do the same thing. Uh, I can't have you talk about Hey Bell, you were about mentioning a little bit. You've wet my palate for that oh, big sorry. fight, man. <laughs> how do we? How do you see that one going on? Um, I can't. See, I can't see Tony Bellew beating David. Day. I just can't see it. I, but no, I'm gonna say this. If it, I think if it get the later it goes, on, I think the more Tony Bellew has a chance. But I think it's gonna end in a, It's gonna be a good three to four, five round war. Okay, so they can both knock each other out, but I think David A would have that edge in speed and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I think David A wins that for me. Do you aspire to get to those big nights? Do you allow yourself yeah. to think about that yeah, stuff? Of that, that sort yeah, of that, I mean, that big, big occasion. Yeah, of course, there's a lot of boxers that want a British title, and that's oh my god, I've got the big, that's not my lad. I never got into boxing for that. I won the British, the British title is a great, the one of the belts a great achievement, and you know, but it's not career defining where the WBC, WBA, them kind of belts there, that's what excites me and that's what makes me get up every morning and go to the gym. Mm -hmm. That's what makes boxing not easy because it's not easy, but easy, if you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. so, so you've got your fight in February, you're looking to go. How many times more do you aim to be active this year? I think I'm 3 and all now. I've got a fight in February, a fight, if I fight in March, a fight in May. Wow. Um, Fighting virtually every month. Yeah, I'm just, well, that's what, you know, I'm grateful for Black Flash Promotion, the pack. I'm able to do that with him. Yeah. And you know, if you, if until you get up there, you know what I mean, it's not. You can't. It's, not, it's good to be an active fighter. An active fighter is a happy fighter. Is a great fighter, and which is what I am being right now. So, you, you know, I'm just happy that Black Flash Promotions and Pat Barrett can, and Paul and Sub and put on. British box to put the whole thing together and this is what we're doing now. So Seems like the gym's buzzing with yeah, like the I said, gym, there's yeah. so many good young fighters there. Yeah, Seems it's, like a good place to be. It's getting there now. I mean the atmosphere in the gym's great, everyone's everyone's competitive, everyone wants to do better than others, so you know, we, we, I'm in a good place. Uh, the gym's in a good place, I'm excited, I'm happy. Well listen, I look forward to watching your development. Thank I'm you. gonna go and get myself on this train before yeah. I miss it. <laughs> and I appreciate you giving me a bit of your time you, today. Sir. Thank you, mate.